Hello, my name is Volker Helste. I work at the Institute of Animation, where I am in charge of research and development. We are here at FMX 2011 in Stuttgart, and with me is Martina from our cooperation partner. Hello, I'm Martina Kreschel from MFT Baden-Württemberg, Innovation Agency for ICT and Media. In the MFG Visual Experience Lab, we cooperate with research institutes, with universities and enterprises in order to um, develop and test technologies in the area of interaction and visualization. R&D at Film Academy is actually part of the Visual Experience Lab and we would like to show you our latest developments now. Emote is an animated messaging service for mobile devices. You can use a combination of text and emoticons to create an individual animated message and share it with friends worldwide. With me is Niels Zweiling from our R&D team and Niels, can we create such a message? Now? Sure, Volker. Let me give you a quick demonstration. Now we can enter um, this message uh, onto our website. And then I can just click this create message button. Um, this message is now um, created faster than real time and after it's created we can review it here with this Flash Play application. Hello Volker. I am Connie the Cow. Feed me with your messages. Oh, maybe I should add a new additional um, animation here. Uh, it, it makes a wink. Okay, and um, I can review it again. Hello, Volker. I am Connie the Cow. Feed me with your messages. And then I can send you this message. Okay, Volker, maybe you should check your phone. Ah, oh, there is a message. Hello, Volker. I am Connie the Cow. And this is available for everybody? Is it uh, open? Yeah, you can just visit our website on emoteanimationsinstitute.de and um, check it out, then write your own messages. The Film Academy team has worked in the past years on a lot of tools and technologies to enable high quality facial animation and rigging. We have started a cooperation project with EPFL in Lausanne, Switzerland, and this is combining their experience in performance capture and our knowledge in animation and rigging on the next generation of performance capture tools. With me here is Thibaut Weise from EPFL in Lausanne. Thibaut, what is it that we see here? Okay, so what we use for performance capture is basically a standard Kinect sensor that you can buy. And it captures the color information, but as well the 3D information. So you can see it captures geometry at 30 frames per second. And we leverage that information for doing facial performance capture. So basically here on the left, you can see the geometry of my face, how it is captured by the sensor. And now we have like a representation of my face, like a mesh that we now deform in such a way that it captures the expressions of my face. So basically we are capturing all the different expressions and this is like a parametric model that we have that we use for the tracking. And so we do the facial performance capture and we can track the different expressions. So for example, if I'm lifting my eyebrows, I will also lift the eyebrows of my virtual avatar that I'm controlling with my face. And because it's a complete parametric model, we can also do that, for example, on a completely different character, same way. So you can see here, for example, we have this Slimer model and uh, we can animate them as well. And because it's based on blend shapes, it's a parametric model, this can be used by any animator and he can afterwards still do post-processing on the animation curves. He can still customize the whole animation. This is our interactive conference guide. It allows face-to-face -face communication with a virtual character by using voice commands only. Amelie, can you show us how that works? Hello. Hello. How can I help you? Tell me more about FMX. FMX 2011 promises to be another exciting conference where industry professionals interested in global production visual art and innovative technologies descend on Stuttgart for four days. Stop, please. Okay. 
Tell me more about MFG. As public innovation agency for ICT and media, MFG has been strengthening the federal status of business location for IT, media and creative industries since 1995. How is the weather in Stuttgart? A mix of cloud and sun. Slight chance of a thunderstorm. The current temperature is 21 degrees Celsius. How much is that in Fahrenheit? 21 degrees Celsius equals 69.8 degrees Fahrenheit. Shut up! Stupid. Sorry. Two months ago, we have received an additional research grant from the Ministry of Economic Affairs on the creation of stereoscopic post-production tools. Our partner in this project is the Heidelberg Collaboratory for Image Processing and five companies from Baden-Württemberg. With me here is Daniel Kondermann from Heidelberg. Daniel, what can we expect in the next month? We will be working on algorithms for 2D to 3D conversion and also on the geometry processing once we have uh, done the conversion. We are using two cameras. This one is the Microsoft Kinect camera, which acquires depth images. And this one is a time of flight camera, which basically does the same, but uses a different measurement principle. When we look at the different images, we will see that in the lower camera, the time of flight camera, we will have a higher resolution and more detail, whereas in the Kinect camera, we will see less detail and a little smaller quality. And the idea is to take this data. In each pixel here, we see a depth, a distance from the camera. And to take this data and to do geometry processing, such as 3D scanning on the set or changing the baseline of a stereo rig.